Yo, what's going on guys? Havik here now. Back. Today, we're going to be discussing the 10 rarest obstacles in Clash of Clans. Two weeks ago, I did rarest emotes for Clash Royale, so I thought, you know, let's just do one for obstacles in Clash of Clans. This time around though, there's not like a accurate way to measure how rare these obstacles are, so this list is mainly just going to be my opinion. Of course, I'm going to take into consideration how they were obtained and how old they are, so uh, yeah. Oh, and also, we are going to be including decorations. Some of these decorations are pretty rare. Rarer than you think. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's do this. 2015 Halloween Cauldron. Starting things off simple is the Halloween obstacle for 2015, which was the Cauldron or Cauldron. I used to say Cauldron, and I don't know if that's correct, but people have since let me know that it is Cauldron. Cauldron. Then why the hell does it have an O? Now this obstacle is pretty low on the list because I feel like 2015 wasn't that long ago, but it's still relatively old and also rare to see nowadays for a couple reasons. Firstly, I mean, it was seven years ago. The other reason is that 2015 was the beginning of the game's slow decline, like it never got as big as 2015. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just many players didn't feel like playing in this particular month. The game kind of blew blew up a few months after this obstacle came out again. So um, yeah, does that make sense? I don't know. This of course is all speculation, but in my books, it is still a pretty rare obstacle. Snowman. The snowman was part of a new era of limited items in Clash of Clans. Not the first, but definitely one of the oldest decorations you had to buy. I mean, of course we had decorations before that, but this one cost real money. The first one of this kind was the Barbarian King statue in late 2016 as a special pack for AIDS awareness. This statue was just the regular King statue though with a badge that disappeared after the event was over so it doesn't really count considering it was temporary and it was only a badge. Well, after that, Supercell started to offer new and permanent decorations. So in December of 2018, the Snowman was one of them. These sort of offers only show up for a very limited time and you can never buy them again. It's never really been confirmed that you can't get them again, but maybe in 2030, you'll be able to purchase it. For now, it's pretty rare. Speaking of rare things, it is rare to still have a full head of hair after a certain age. This video is not sponsored, but my buddy just launched a sweet line of elite hair fibers that'll help you fill in that baldy area. And if you aren't balding yet, you certainly know someone who is, making the ultimate Chad gift. Before I agreed to shout him out though, I tried it myself, and the results will shock you. Yeah, I didn't even know I was balding the f Show my friends some love and yourself, use the link down below and code HAVOC at checkout if you're interested for 25% off. Whoa! 2014 Christmas Tree. Obviously, the older something is, the rarer it typically gets. A couple years ago, Darian from Supercell actually posted statistics for the number of players who have these Christmas trees. They've only ever done this once, so it was pretty fascinating to see these numbers, like real numbers. Well, the 2014 tree turned out to be in only 460,000 bases, which may sound like a lot, but in 2020, it was reported that Clash of Clans had an estimated total player count of 500 million. Uh, no! That number is still rising, obviously that was 2020. So 460k isn't really that much. Think about it. Builder Statue. Remember when we mentioned earlier that the snowman was part of this new era of offers in Clash of Clans? Yeah, it seems as though what started it all was the Builder statue which appeared in mid-2017 for a very limited time. This was all taking place during an event in which the Builder literally left the game and other troops took his place. I honestly don't remember it much as I wasn't playing at the time, but now I kind of regret it because I never got to experience a literal giant upgrading my defenses. Anyways, the Builder statue ranks in at number 7 on my list for being the first of its kind and also being a very long time ago. But like I said in the beginning, this is kind of just my ranking and it doesn't mean it's rarer than the others or whatever, so yeah. 
2014 Halloween Headstone. 2014 was the first year we had a special obstacle for a holiday other than Christmas, and boy was it sweet to get one back then. Well, apparently, even though first of its kind, it seems players didn't really keep this one around as much as a tree. I, I really don't know why. Probably because they thought they weren't as special as the trees. I don't know. You've probably spotted it more than once though, so although it isn't extremely rare, like you'll never see it, no, it, it isn't like that. But what it is, it is rare. Most bases you come across probably don't have this obstacle. It's relatively old, and it's just one of those situations where you had to be there or you didn't get it. 2014 Christmas Tree Presents Yeah, the tree is pretty rare, but you know what's even rarer? The presents that they spawned. This was the first time in Clash history where an obstacle could spawn something else with it. It's not really an obstacle, but I mean, I had to include it. it. It is definitely rarer than the tree itself. You know how much of a flex it is to have these presents laying around your base after this many years? The only problem is that you could collect them by tapping it. What? Yeah, a lot of people did it by accident and it's not like everyone knew we could keep them forever either. Some people assumed you had to collect them. Some people thought it would just grow back. Others tried to hold on to it as long as they could. Yeah, the presents are that rare. Most of the time when you see these trees, they don't have the presents. But if you've ever visited someone and see their presents along the tree, just know it must have been incredibly difficult to keep this for that long. It only takes one accidental tap and poof. Champion Statue This statue is still obtainable today, so maybe its place on the list is a little off, but I feel like many people don't have it still. So the way you get it is first, you need 2,000 war medals. I don't know about you, but every time I have a single war medal, I dedicate it to things in the shop that are actually useful. The only players who probably have that kind of medals just laying around are max players. Secondly, you need to be in a clan that's in Champions League 1, the highest a clan can be at. If you have these two requirements, then congrats, you can finally buy the Champion Statue. 2013 Christmas Tree you guys saw this one coming, right? The older, the rarer, yeah? Much like the 2014 Christmas tree, we also have the numbers on how many players have this obstacle. 54,000. 54! In case you need to be reminded, the total player count in 2020 was 500 million. So, uh, yeah. This tree is definitely rare, and I still get surprised every time I see one out in the wild. If you have this tree, consider yourself a true OG. Big Rock You've probably seen this rock somewhere on social media or on YouTube at least once, but why? Well, as it turns out, this rock never even existed. Sort of. See, villages often have rocks when you first start the game, and we usually remove them before finding out that they don't spawn anymore. Whoops! Well, this rock is no different, it used to spawn in new accounts. But, only for a very brief period in the game's history. Before or shortly after the game went global, the rock was disabled from spawning and instead, you can get these smaller, non-cool rocks. It's believed this time frame that you could have got this rock was anywhere from a few days to maybe a month? I, I don't know. Ten years later though, it looks like only a handful of players have this rock and although we don't have numbers for it, it's probably close or even rarer than number one on the list, but before we get into number one, we have some honorable mentions. 2015 Christmas Tree 2015 was a long time ago, and I mean, yeah, it deserves a mention even if it was a small one. Festive Firecrackers for Builder Base Not really that rare, but a lot of people seem surprised this even existed on Reddit when researching for this video. It was available in the shop for a limited time a few years ago. Goblin Pole and Rock Although not obtainable, this obstacle did appear in someone's base for some time, presumably from a hack or a glitch. You can find out more about these in my 5 times Clash of Clans got hacked video. Alright, so the rarest obstacle on my list is going to be the 2012 Christmas tree. No matter how you put it, this tree is simply the rarest obstacle in the entire game. And yes, we do have the numbers. 
2,600 accounts. And I bet 90% of those are inactive. This tree appeared in, well, 2012. It was the first obstacle to be added into Clash of Clans after launch, and boy is it rare. Not many people have this as we've seen, and the thought of never being able to get it kinda hurts, but I mean, that's why it's so valuable. It's a piece of Clash history, and as we reach the end of 2020 later this year, this obstacle will be a decade old. Feels a little weird to say that. So guys, that is my list for the 10 rarest obstacles in Clash of Clans. Like I said, uh, I wouldn't really take this list too serious. I mean, some things could be higher, lower. I obviously didn't mention like a plethora of other decorations and uh, obstacles, but yeah, these are the only 10 that made the cut for me. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good me out. Peace.